The Confederation of British Industry has issued another warning about leaving the European Union, this time in an open letter to the next Conservative leader and Prime Minister. The CBI tells the candidates in the Tory leadership race that a no-deal Brexit would cause severe damage to British businesses and urges the next Prime Minister to reach an agreement with Brussels. It says smaller companies can't afford the necessary preparations for leaving without a plan. We have written to all, all, all 12 and we are saying, I think, two very simple things. First of all, there could be such opportunity for this country if business and government work together. So back business and we can reskill the nation, we can tackle climate change, we can tackle inequality. But the second really important message is that's only possible if we have a deal that protects the economy as we leave the European Union. The cost of no deal is so great, so severe across uh, uh, companies of all, si all sizes that this is something that should be absolutely uh, a last resort, a plan Z, and not a plan A or B. Brexit Party MEP Lance Foreman joins us now. Welcome. Thank you very much for coming in. You run your own business. Do. You don't think no deal's a problem. Why are you right? And the CBI, which represents hundreds, if not thousands, of businesses across the country, thinks it would be damaging. Um, well, there's a huge difference between the sorts of businesses that the CBI represent and my my uh, my business you know we're an, we're a small business an sme 99.9% .9 of all businesses in the uk are small businesses like mine employing 60% of all the people that work in um, you know that work in the uk and for us um, many of us 92% of our businesses don't do any business with the eu at all we just don't do any trade at all with the eu and so what we do is we suffer from all the regulations that come along and there's no real benefit. My, my own business has been going for 115 years. So for the first 70 of those years, we were never in the EU. Our business went perfectly well. For the 40 years we've been but in it... it didn't exist. No, exactly. And it, and it didn't, so there was no great benefit. And for the 40 years we were in the EU, there was no benefit to our business, but tons and tons of cost. But now and that's are, the point. But now we are in the EU. Yes. And we're trying to get out of the yes. EU in the right way. Yeah. You say no deal will be fine will operate on WTO rules. Yes. How long would you want to operate on WTO rules then? Well, we can operate on WTO rules immediately. But for um, how long? Well, because at some point you need a deal. Well, uh, what, a deal with the EU or yeah. a deal with other countries around the but world? All, all of them. Well, you don't need a deal, actually. I mean, it, you know, it, a deal, see, this is what people don't understand. Businesses don't depend on trade deals. You know, most, you know, most of the trade we do, we, in fact, we do more trade in the USA than we do with the EU. We don't have a trade deal with the EU. You don't actually need a trade deal to trade. And but the EU in, sells, But you're in the EU. Yes, I, so you automatically are covered by all of those regulations. But it doesn't and matter. Free it what, doesn't what would, matter. What because we do? trade with the USA and we, you know, but, there's, there's no trade deal with the USA you, and we still trade. But we'll be outside the EU. And yes. to trade with the EU, what sort of tariffs would you want to but have it, with the EU? Again, it, it doesn't matter. The USA does more trade with the EU than we do, and they're not in it. They're not in the single market, no, they're not in the customs union, and in fact, they do more trade with the EU than Britain does. But we don't to, need to be in it. But you need to have, you might not need to be in it, but you need to have a, a, a deal with them at some point. We don't what have to. What would that to. deal look like? I mean, look, it would be great if there's a free trade deal. Of course, it would be. It'd be great for both parties. Um, what that would mean would be that there'll be no tariffs at all, and it would mean that, uh, you know, there'll be mutual recognition of our standards. But under That's w how it should be. Under WTO yeah. rules, if you have no tariffs, tariffs yes. with with one trading partner you can't have tariffs with anybody it's a, it's a blanket coverage it's that's that's the the WTO rules it's according to Rory Stewart the, the conservative leadership uh, candidate it's the worst of all trade deals no, that, because it that's, means that's it nonsense means, actually it, that's not quite how it works but he said yes that he's talking a, a yeah. lot about this over the the weekend saying yes. he's not anti-brexit yes but he's anti-leaving without a deal because it means that if you don't impose tariffs on one trading partner you can't impose them on anybody that leaves britain open to a flood of cheap imports which will affect agriculture affect the well, car I mean, industry look, cheap, cheap imports be britain Brilliant for British consumers. But uh, not the for other is, producers, the, not well, for homegrown producers. Not for some producers. producers, but you know, even if we had the average tariff that the EU has against uh, products from all over the world, that 4%, 
that would cost Britain about five million pounds, but we're saving thirty sorry billion. That would you know, but every year we save thirteen billion um, in in the fees that we're paying to the EU to do all this trade that we're not actually doing. I mean, it's the, the great thing about No Deal. The absolute great thing about No Deal is, first of all, it crystallises the whole Brexit discussion overnight. It removes the uncertainty. Business keeps saying it needs this uncertainty removed. No Deal just does that immediately. It'd be fantastic. We could talk all night. We, we haven't got time. Lance Foreman, Brexit Party MEP. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you.